All right, guys, just working on this video here. The point of today's video, we're talking about this kid from Bulgaria, Bulgaria of all places, who's been balling out at the Eurobasket. His name is up there with guys like Giannis, Luka, Jokic, as some of the top scorers in the competition. And we'll take a look at him and why he may be ending up in the NBA alongside those guys pretty soon and which team has the rights to own him. So you may want to remember this name. Let's take a look. Take a look at the list of scoring leaders from the FIBA Eurobasket tournament this summer, and you'll find it reads like an NBA all-star lineup. Giannis, Luka, Jokic, all of those dudes have been balling out for their countries during the group stage. But there's one name you probably haven't heard of, a Bulgarian scoring machine who carried his country with 26.8 points and 12.2 rebounds per, and who's already been drafted and traded twice but has never stepped foot on an NBA court. That guy's name, well, you clicked on the video, Alexander Sasha Vezenkov. Hit him a now. Had the shot, didn't take it. Takes a quick one. The three is up. The oh. three is good. And he doesn't even call the bank. But he'll go to the free throw line with a four point play. At 6'9, 225 pounds, the 27 year old proved to be a matchup nightmare and capable of going toe to toe, statistically at least, with some of the best players in the world. Check out some of his highlights as you're doing right here, and you'll see him looking a little like Luka Doncic as he backs down defenders and caches jumpers over them in the post. He also drains threes with a feathery, although a little awkward, shooting touch and makes plays all over the floor. Against one of the world's best teams in Spain at the Eurobasket, Vezenkov scored 26 points on 8 of 11 shooting and 3 of 5 from deep and grabbed 11 rebounds. He also poured in 28 points each against Turkey and Georgia and 26 against Belgium and Montenegro. Bulgaria went just 1-4 and four and were beaten by double digits in each of its four losses. At the very least, Vezenkov proved he has what it takes to score consistently against European competition. Despite the relative obscurity that comes with playing for Bulgaria, Vezenkov is by no means a new name to NBA scouts. He was drafted in 2017 by the Brooklyn Nets, taken with the 57th overall pick, but both parties decided he'd stay in Europe to continue to develop. The Nets then traded him to, to Cleveland as part of the James Harden trade in 2021, and the Cavs shipped him to the Sacramento Kings ahead of the 2022 draft. So Sacramento now owns the rights to Vezenkov, though it was reported back in July that he would not come over for next season. You'd have to think that the Kings are reconsidering that right now. In addition to seeing his face show up on graphics alongside Luka and the Greek freak at Eurobasket, Bezenkov has been on the come-up in the EuroLeague as well. Last season, he led Greek power Olympiakos to the EuroLeague's Final Four, averaging a team-high 13.7 points per game. That may not sound like a lot of points per game, but he was balling out. He scored 20 and grabbed 10 boards in the 102-72 win over Panathinaikos in the quarterfinals, and he was an MVP candidate for the season. It may just be an aberration, a run of great games against somewhat subpar competition in the Eurobasket, and Sasha Vezenkov may not become an NBA player. Or, like Italy's Simone Fontecchio after balling out in last year's Olympics, he may parlay his hot streak into an NBA contract. The Jazz signed Fontecchio back in July. Either way, when Vezenkov checks out that Eurobasket top scorers list, he's got to feel some pride. Here's the list. And Ted Akumpo, Doncic, Lori Markkinen, and him. That's some pretty good company. It's not easy to find yourself next to those names, and if Vezenkov keeps playing like this, he may find himself on an NBA court with them, too. For Round Ball Daily, I'm Kels Dayton. On fire. Good job there by his teammates finding him.